The Proverbs 31 passage is not a to-do list that we are to check off to be these perfect women. This passage instead leads to the truth that a virtuous or righteous life can only be achieved when God is the one providing the strength to live it. Hello, beloved, and welcome to Beloved Women with me, Christina Patterson, where we encourage, equip, and empower women in the love of Jesus Christ and the truth of God's word. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a video. And for those of you returning, welcome back. As we prepare for our next online Bible study called Worth More Than Rubies, a Bible study on the seven virtues of the Proverbs 31 woman, I want to talk just a little bit more about her today. When you hear the name Proverbs 31 woman, what do you think? What images come to mind? Like go ahead, close your eyes and imagine her. What does she wear? How does she talk? How does she go about her day-to-day -day life? Now, when your eyes were closed, did you imagine yourself? Can you see yourself as the Proverbs 31 type of woman, my guess is that you imagine someone completely different. I believe that as Christian women, we've put the Proverbs 31 woman on such a high pedestal, we can't possibly envision ourselves as her. And I get it. When we read Proverbs 31 verses 10 through 31, this woman appears to not only have it all, but she's picture perfect. She has a respectful husband, loving children, maid servants, but she's also diligent, kind, and giving. So when we read about this Proverbs 31 woman and we don't check off all the boxes she does, we automatically disqualify ourselves from her example. However, if you will allow me to take the Proverbs 31 woman off her pedestal just for a moment and take a closer look into her life and character, I think you may find you have much more in common with her than you originally believed. The first reason I believe you have more in common with the Proverbs 31 woman is that although she did take care of her home, that's not all she did. She was an entrepreneur. Proverbs 31, 16 tells us she considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hand, she plants a vineyard. Verse 24 says she makes linen garments and sells them. She delivers sashes to the merchant. Anyone that thinks that all the Proverbs 31 woman did was stay home would be greatly mistaken. She could relate to the housewife, but she also shared much in common with the woman who works outside the home as well. The next point I want to bring up that reveals why you may have more in common with the Proverbs 31 woman than you think is found in Proverbs 31 verse 15 that says, she rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. Okay, I know it says she has maidens or maid servants as some versions say. And if you're like me, then you, you don't have that. But I want to point out here that she needed help. We can't fairly look at the long list of all the great things that the Proverbs 31 woman did without acknowledging the fact that she did not do it by herself. She had help. She couldn't do it all on her own and neither can we. Now I understand Again, like her, we might not have maid servants, but I pray that you do have a community of family or sister friends and especially a local church that can support and help you because God did not call us to do life alone. The last reason I believe you have more in common with the Proverbs 31 woman than you think is the most important and that is she needed God. Proverbs 31 verse 30 says, Charm is deceptive and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. This woman served the Lord and lived her life to glorify Him. All of the things that she has done, accomplished, and acquired are because of a foundational relationship with God. The Proverbs 31 passage is not a to-do list that we are to check off to be these perfect women. 
This passage instead leads to the truth that a virtuous or righteous life can only be achieved when God is the one providing the strength to live it. The issue with the Proverbs 31 passage is that we've spent too much time looking at the woman when the passage is actually pointing us to her God. For those that have placed their faith in Jesus Christ, you have access to the same power to live a virtuous life as the Proverbs 31 woman. You might not be married or have kids or own a business or have maid servants. Your husband may not be respected at the city gates and your children certainly may not be rising up and calling you blessed right now. But all that is not the essence of who the Proverbs 31 woman is. Her identity is not in what she does, but who God says she is. And the same goes for you. If you are a believer in Christ, you have much more in common with the Proverbs 31 woman than you think because you are both connected to the same source. I hope that this video inspires you to have a more encouraging perspective of the Proverbs 31 woman and leads you towards Christ because as we learn from the Proverbs 31 woman, all the good that we do is because of him. Now, I would love to hear from you. Please comment below and let me know what are your thoughts about the Proverbs 31 woman. I'm looking forward to chatting with you in the comments. Also, if you are interested in learning more about the Proverbs 31 woman and what it means to practically live as a woman of virtue, I want to invite you to my next video Bible study series called Worth More Than Rubies, a Bible study on the seven virtues of the Proverbs 31 woman. We are going in depth with not only what these virtues are, but how we can gracefully and practically live them out to live lives of honor, dignity, and legacy. Our study worth more than rubies starts this February 1st, 2020, and is exclusive to Beloved TV members. You can join today at belovedwomen.tv so you don't miss out on this encouraging and practical study of the Proverbs 31 woman with all your beloved sisters around the world. I look forward to studying worth more than rubies with you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If it was an encouragement to you, would you share it with a friend? Because you just never know who might need some beloved encouragement today. Until next time, be beautiful, be blessed, and be loved.